So this is Zurich, the new map for Riggs Mechanized Combat League. It is approximately the size of Dubai in length, um, but it takes after skate parks. And essentially, there are a number of ramps positioned throughout the map, as you can see on my screen here, um, that allow mobile rigs such as hunters and mirages to quickly traverse the whole map. So as you see on the ground of Zurich, uh, it's a very open map, a lot of visibility for Tempest, uh, and it's rather long, so I don't think Sentinels will have as strong of a, of a showing on this map in particular. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, these ramps are the ideal kind of ramps for launching yourself off of and getting a lot of speed and distance quickly on a map. Uh, the pockets for power spheres are located in the back of each map and then in the center. And it's a duplicate on the other side of the map as well. So on each spawn, so left and right of the main spawn area and at the bottom of the main um, subsection. So the map itself has the power send goal in the middle and on end zone the ball spawns direct the bottom of the map itself. Um, what I found for Zurich is that it's a fantastic map even for power slam for hunters. They have a lot of nice ramps to get to the power slam goal. These middle sections also have ramps to get to the center goal. Like hunters can easily get up and score with. Uh, and then more importantly for hunters in particular, there's a trick shot, a trick ramp area right here on each side of the of the map, and you can come in and side dash off of, and actually get air enough to quickly score. So when you fall, you fall down to this bottom area, which is sunken below the map, with four exit points to any side of the map, um, which provides you a lot of cover for you know if your team's on one side and you want to back up into them. The coolest thing about Zurich would be the positioning of individual shields. These shields provide you, obviously, cover for when you are attacking. Uh, but more importantly, when you're on defense in a game like Endzone, the shields are positioned in such a way that blocks line of sight from snipers. So if you actually want to defend yourself on Endzone, you could actually do it easily from, from the front of the map. Spawns on this map are fairly open. The notable differences uh, uh, by game type is that on a end zone game, you will have spawns at the the middlemost point of the map. Let's see what I mean, real quick. So on end zone, you will have a spawn right here at the center of the map, on the left and right side of the whole entire place. On Power Slam, this spawn does not exist. And it's because of how quickly you can easily score, most likely, um, once you have that overdrive. Uh, besides that, all the other spawns remain the same. So you have a spawn at the middlemost portion of the map on each side, as well as on the opposing opposing um, entrance. And then on every game mode except for, uh, except for end zone, you will have a shield and you will spawn behind the shield if you spawn in the back, which is actually really nice so you don't get spawn camps out in the open. Which is, so that's fantastic. Lastly, there is a spawn in the dead center of the map. This is accessible on every game mode as well. Uh, one last interesting piece of information that I found is when you come up the sides of the map towards the power slam goal, there's smaller entrances right here. If you are a Tempest or a Mirage or a Sentinel, it provides you a lot of cover if you want to score, because you could come up towards toward the middle area, quickly get up and, and then jump and score, instead of being out in the open all together in an attempt to get to the goal. On end zone, my recommendation is not to play left or far right side of the map, because you easily corner yourself in those areas. Instead, play down in the middle, wrapping yourself around the map until you're able to score.